Hi, I'm Dwayne Gleason, Product Manager for Document Controller, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the first of our 10-part video series on how to use the program. Before you can get started with Document Controller, you obviously need to install it, so that's what this video is all about. First, I'll show you where to find the file for installation, and then how to get started with it. From there, we'll jump into the localization options so you can take advantage of the different languages that we've provided in the program. After that, we'll go through a section on how to connect Document Controller to all of the BIM authoring platforms that you might be using to create your models. Once that's complete, we'll look at how to install the license that came to you via email. After that, you're ready to open up a project or create a brand new one. I'll show you how to do both of those. And then last but not least, we'll show you how to upgrade to the full-blown installation of EcoOffice so that once you're ready to move on from Document Controller Standard, you'll have the full feature set at your fingertips in just a couple minutes. Let's jump in. Alright, so today I want to explain to you how to install Document Controller Standard and get it set up on your machine. The first thing that you'll want to do is navigate to the Vico Office product download page and find the Document Controller Standard install and download it to your local machine. Click Save to store it on your local machine. Once you've completed the download, all you need to do to install Document Controller is to double click on the application file that's been stored to your machine. Double-clicking the application file will launch the InstallAware wizard, which begins the installation process. Once the wizard is finished running, it will allow you to begin the configuration options of Document Controller Standard. The first option to choose is which language or localization setting you want to use. Here, you can see we have the program in UK metric units, US imperial units, Chinese, Finnish, Japanese, and Swedish. I'm going to go with the U.S. Imperial Unit Installation. Here, it's going to tell me about the space requirements that are needed in order to install Document Controller Standard. Here, we get to see the license agreement. Review the license agreement to make sure that you agree with the terms and conditions, and once you're done, Click I accept the terms to continue with the installation. In this case, we want to install Document Controller Standard, which is actually part of the Vico Office Installer Package. So to make sure that we get just Document Controller Standard, we hit the checkbox here. We also want to install the Vico Project Server, which is where all of our databases will live. So I hit that checkbox here and I confirm that I want the Vico Project Server installed on my C drive. If you'd like it stored on another drive, you can change that option here. With these settings in place, I'll click Next to proceed with the installation. This is where we get to find our BIM authoring applications. If you have any applications installed, such as ArchiCAD, AutoCAD, Revit, Tecla, these should all be found automatically on your system. If one of them is not found automatically, you can navigate using these controls right here to find it on your system. Once you've identified all of your authoring platforms in this window here, you can click Next to proceed with the installation. After the program has been installed, you'll be prompted to restart your machine so that all the system files associated with the install can be refreshed. I'll choose to restart now. Once you've restarted your machine, you'll see that a document controller icon has been placed on your desktop where the application can be found. But before we launch the program, let's make sure and install the license. To do that, Navigate to the license distribution email that you received with your purchase of Document Controller and double click on the license.
Double clicking on the license will send a message to the license server and if everything goes well, you'll receive this message indicating that the license has been installed successfully. Once you're done, click OK and you're ready to start using Document Controller. To get started with the program, you may want to begin by creating a new project. To do that, just click the New Project icon up in the ribbon and give it a name. Click Enter to begin the database creation process. To navigate to the Document Register, go down here in the Workflow panel and click Document Register. Here we can begin the process of populating our new project. Now when we expand the folder, we've imported our first drawing into Document Controller. If you already have a project that you want to open up in Document Controller, all you need to do is choose Unpack Project. Here's one of my previous tower projects. I'll click on it, choose Open, and it will begin the import process into the Document Controller database. With your new project open, don't be afraid to click around the user interface and navigate to some of the other views within Document Controller. And that's how you can begin using Document Controller. And don't forget, if you ever want to upgrade to the full version of EcoOffice, all you need to do is reinstall the Document Controller standard installation. Let me show you how to do that. When you're ready to upgrade to the full EcoOffice installation, all you need to do is run the installer again. I'll find that first document controller installer that I had to begin with and double click on it once more. Again, choose your localization options here. I'm going to stick with the English US Imperial units and click next. This time I want to choose Reinstall to add the full Vico Office. Again, restart your machine so that the system files can be refreshed. And now, when I return to my desktop, I have a full Vico Office installation there that I can use to continue to leverage the files that I started in Document Controller Standard. Including Takeoff Manager, Cost Planner, Schedule Planner, Layout Manager, and any other modules that you may have purchased the license for. And with that, we've got some of the unfun stuff out of the way, and we're ready to rip into the fun stuff throughout the rest of the video series. Join me in the next nine videos, where I'll take you through step by step and show you how to use Document Controller along with the prescribed workflow. I'll see you there.